Yeah, the news that my mother had early onset Alzheimer's really changed my whole world. At that time, I was uneducated as to exactly what Alzheimer's was, nonetheless early onset. They call it early onset because she's so young. So she was 51 when she was diagnosed. Now I've heard stories of people that have been diagnosed at age 36, which is my age, which is terrifying. Um, but I don't think it really, it shook me, but really didn't impact me until I finally saw her when she came to visit us in Nashville. And I saw that it was, this is actually happening, you know, so. When my mother walked in the door of my home and I greeted her, like I stated, my mother raised me like I was not only the center of the universe, her universe, but the universe. So I was expecting that, you know, the way a mother looks at a, a child, especially her oldest, her only son. And uh, she looked at me like I was a stranger. She looked directly through me like she had no idea who I was, didn't care who I was. And not only, uh, not only wrecked my world, made me sad, it made me so angry, you know, to the point where I was like, I turned to my pops, I said, Dad, I, I don't know how to deal with this right now. I don't want to, let's just get out of here. So that's what we did. He got her all dolled up and we went out to the sutler here in Nashville to go dancing. So, and that goes on to the next part of the story. So, <clears throat> um, so I'd heard about the power of music my entire life. We've all heard about the power of music. I never experienced it until this point in my life. We get to this venue in Nashville called The Sutler and uh, you can hear the music going on on the inside. So I open up the door, I'm with my pops, my now fiance and my mother. And uh, people that have dementia have this glossy lost look on their face. The moment she walked in, one step in, saw the band on stage and heard the music, that went away, the sparkle came back. She was trying to talk, she wanted to go inside, she wanted to dance. So like I said, I've always been the oldest, the, you know, the fixer in our family. I have two little baby sisters, blonde hair, blue eyes. And so uh, anytime anything went wrong in our family, I'm going to take advantage of that moment and fix it, right? So I grabbed her by the hand. I pulled her right in front of the stage, in front of everyone in this bar. And uh, we started slow dancing to a fast song. And uh, she's rubbing my back. She's trying to talk to me. And all of a sudden, the band figures out what's going on and slows it down and starts playing this really worshipful thing. The guitarist was playing this really worshipful thing on his guitar, slowed everything down. And there was this moment where I felt her take this deep, heavy breath. And she pulled me in and she just goes, Jay, I miss you. I love you so much, son. I've missed you so much. And I was like, oh, it's my mom. <laughs> and I had her back for a second, you know, and uh, gosh, just like, it gave me so much hope. Like, wow, music can do that. So she was, uh, they were with us in, here in Nashville for about two weeks for that stay. And, uh, uh, they go back to Iowa and I'm standing in my kitchen in Nashville just crying because this song hits me. Just overwhelms me. I write songs for a living. I'm thankful that I get to do that. No, I'm one of the few, one of the lucky ones. But I got to work really, really hard at it. I'm not as good as my fiance, Kylie. Um, but that day I just, I was gifted a song. And uh, I had this whole idea and the hook, it was this, po it, was, it was about my mother and the struggle of losing her, but it was still this positive thing. It was The hook line was, I still see you, I'm gonna fight for you. I still see you in there, I saw you. When you heard the band, we saw them, I saw you. I know you're still in there, so I still see you in between the blank stairs. In between those blank stairs, I'm gonna fight for you. I'm gonna find those moments. And so we wrote that song, I wrote it with a good buddy of mine on Music Row, and uh, before I knew it, some really important people heard that song. I get a call from the head of Sony here in Nashville. Somehow he had got that song. I just it was literally like piano uh, and me singing on a phone, on an iPhone. And he heard that version. He said, Jay, you don't know this, but I lost my father to Alzheimer's. I know that that's what this song's about. Didn't even tell him. He said, I took care of him for the last five years of his life. And uh, if you don't mind, I would love to get this song out to the world in exchange that you promised me that we give away everything we make from this song back to help fight against Alzheimer's. I said, yes, sir, and that's how it started. Sweet.